What's going on? I wanted to wish Barry Gordy a happy 90th birthday. And I think in LA, they, some street or something's going to be named after him or something. I had to get my facts back on that. But one thing I can put my facts straight on is two things. Three or few things when I think about Barry Gordy. Motown, still the greatest label, the most iconic known brand, the greatest roster of artists. And Barry Gordy was the greatest rock man ever, period. Nobody else can touch him because I I don't care how many people that somebody like Clive Davis associate with. This man, Barry Gordy, raw boned with the Supremes, Marvin Gaye, Stevie Wonder, Smokey Robinson, the Miracles, Martha Reese and the Vandals. And that was before mm, a little known act from Gary in that called the Jackson Fire came along. Or this group from Alabama, band from Alabama named the Commodores came along. And before Rick James came along. And before the switch to barge era came into view. I mean, yeah, kind of. By the way, he kind of had a couple of no little known acts named Glass Night and the Pips and Isaac Brothers on the label, too. I mean, you can't show Oh, yeah, and a couple couple groups you may have heard of, The Temptations, The Four Tops. The Barry Gordon <laughs> bedazzles you. Catalog, songs, the whole nine. Money tracks galore. And artistry, writers, producers. And he wasn't a bad songwriter himself. Reedy Petey, remember? Jackie Wilson. And they were boys. They used to run together. He wrote for Jackie. And something else when you think about what he represents. But anyway, 90 years, 90th birthday. Take the good with the bad, however you come down. On what you've heard, et cetera, et cetera. But as far as just like the, and I didn't really care for that Motown whackness at the Grammys with Jennifer Lopez and all that foolery. And there was a lot of appealing, et cetera. But when I go back to just strictly the songs, the careers, the longevity, the death, no one is touching what Barry Gordy have created Motown. Sorry. You're not going to show me any people that can have a Michael Jackson, Donna Ross, Smokey Robinson, Marvin Gaye, Stevie Wonder. The Temptations, Four Tops, just, you just, Rick James, Von Richie, and the Commodores, you're not going to just, you're rolling off, I can roll off 10 deep, 12 deep of careers, and not just, you know, little mini runs, this man had a vision, he also made you get it right, that's what great mind, that's what's missing in today's music, because I can tell you, there's a few artists today, if they had a Barry Gordy shaping their careers, you'd see a different trajectory. He knew how to get the best out of artists, and he was a taskmaster about it, knew how to play in the concept, took you to school too. They had the inner charm school all nine, had acts understanding PR, well enlightened. So anyway, I want to take the time to wish Barry Gordy a happy 90th birthday. One of the most important musical business African-American model figures ever. So I'm going to put some respect by that man's name once he's amongst us. And just tell him thank you because Motown Records changed a lot of lives. Not only just the sound of young America, but the sound of a generation of era of ears and beyond. Classic album songs, artists. That's what's missing in today's music. And that man single-handedly revolutionized, revolutionized that and changed the game. Happy 90th to Barry Gordy. Give me your thoughts and takes about Barry Gordy. Wish him happy birthday. I'll take whatever people got to say one way or the other, but the track record of what Motown represented and the artistry and the talent and the depth speaks for itself. Hit the like and subscribe when the bell rings in the video. Keep on keeping on. I'm out. Peace.